at the Chequamus Lake trailhead. We've got a fine cast of characters. We got Miss Ellie Greenwood sitting here getting her bag ready, putting on something warm. Cheese. Cheese. We got Dennis hey. Marchant here. He is ready, putting on some sunscreen. We got one Miss Indigo over there and her good friend Magdalene. And we are heading up and about right now. So today is definitely more of a hike and they've implemented this ridiculous <laughs> BC Parks Pass day pass system, which is an absolute nightmare to deal with. It is seems to be kind of non-functional. The passes all disappear almost instantaneously. You can't plan things ahead of time. It's a system, I think, that had good intentions, but is a sad fail when it comes to actual implementation. So this runs along a river embankment with a mountain up this way. And eventually we'll be climbing up on that side and heading towards the Black Tusk Mountain up there, maybe taking a lake, lake dip in Garibaldi. That's our plan for the day. First turn, Chequamus Lake is 1.5K that way. Garibaldi, 16K in this direction, there's a little bridge. We could go and visit the lake for bonus mileage if you guys want. That'd be a no from Indigo. Garibaldi? I'm just saying. No, Chequamus Lake. Oh. Up to you, right? Or we can keep going forward and you guys can go there and then meet us back on the trail. Um, it's a little weird as soon as you get across because it starts to get steep quickly. So we are reaching the bridge. Oh, I see a thimbleberry. Let me get that for Ellie. Hold on. Ellie, here you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, red one. Indigo, you want one? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Thimbleberry. They're good, aren't they? They are tasty. Mm. And here's our bridge. Oh yeah. This is such a lovely spot and such a cool bridge. So once we leave the bridge, there's a whole lot of switchbacks that just go back and forth. And the trail, as you can see, is actually pretty decent. They've brought in gravel. It's more or less a super highway in Garibaldi Park here. But it continues with a general gentle uphill for a ways. And then we'll head off and hit the Alpine and get into the mountain area. But this type of area, it's like the moss is a carpet around here. The air is so clean and beautiful. It really is. And today we can't complain with the weather even though we're sweating. <laughs> we have found the most perfect rest spot with a, with a view of the river. Look at this. Oh, either that or a Fred Flintstone car. That's right, we play cards right here. Just coming into one of my favorite sections where the trees are a little bit more intermittent and you've got the alpine flowers starting to bloom in different places. And you're starting to be able to see the peaks around. We should in a little bit be able to see Black Tusk, our objective. But what a heavenly trail. There's been a ton of work to it. They've really dug out the edges for drainage. Look at all this craziness happening here. This is definitely the camp zone. And there is the tusk that we're going to be climbing up a little bit. So we've got the map here, actually. This is Garibaldi Provincial Park. We parked a car right here at Rubble Creek. Then we drove the highway and parked another car right here at the Chequamus Lake parking area. We came up these switchbacks. This is the Helm campground right here. We're gonna, there's a little panorama ridge option and then there's the black and, uh, tusk option 2300 meters so it looks like it's about seven eight thousand feet and then we'll go back hit the lake and come on down that's our plan for the day that's our view 
Maybe I'll switch it to the GoPro linear mode here. So it's not a wide angle. Look closer. So there it is with linear instead of wide angle. Changes the shot a bit. What a stellar trail. Highly recommend for anybody, whether you're from outside of the area or in BC. Accessible trails to get you into magical spaces. Don't get much better than this. <laughs> Ellie has donated a couple bandages for Indigo's <laughs> heels here. We're stopping and eating. Indigo's doing a lot of swatting. Dennis is patiently waiting. I have my first boost, so. Oh, oh really? Yep. Good for you. And Magdalene is just enjoying the sunshine. <laughs> You're entering one of my favorite sections because you've got this uninterrupted view of that magnificent tusk and this plain that's just kind of open. Trees are pretty minor around here, but they're almost like they've been spread out by a landscaper in just the perfect patterns. Now, normally we're not fans of making marks on the landscape, but someone has done this for us. Run with friends. Look at that. And that's what we're doing today. Aww. Walking. Now, yeah. We're in the alluvial plain area. It's a lot of sort of granity, sandy kind of stuff. And you've got this water, which is absurdly beautiful. Ellie's getting suckered in to take some photos. Might be some good reflection shots. Is Ellie has spotted what appears to be maybe a badger or something. We're trying to figure it out. It's too big for a marmot. It looks like maybe it's black and white or something. Is he still there, that lump? It was brown with shimmering off him. Like, I think his coat was like reflecting the light. I've got a spot where I think he is, but maybe that's a rock. Oh no, there he is. He's moving along. He's in these bushes here. Oh, there he goes. Well, maybe it is a marmot. Yeah. Aww. Common little old marmot. A marmot. Still kind of cool to see. Giant, awesome rodent. Yeah, definitely a marmot now. Like, yeah, look at him. Little fatty warbuckle. Hey, buddy. Where are you going? <laughs> He's hoping for some snacks. Coming to another one of my favorite spots. Sort of have to dance across this wide creek in the plain. There's a couple peaks up there that we've explored. Blue Gentian and another one. And this is Panorama Ridge up here, which we won't do today. But it is a very picturesque spot. Oh my word. One of the things I love about this kind of trail is the variety. There are these memorable spots that you have to get across. A uh, flip flop. <laughs> Macro, we should have just gone across, but look, they've actually built a bridge to get across this creek. Yeah. Hold on. Wait a minute. Where's the escalator? <laughs> Look at this. It's pretty sturdy. This is cool. We are filling bladders with a little bit of snow for delicious icy cool water, which will come from here. There are all of these wonderful 
bodies of water around that are just gorgeous. That's what you need to swing past to get up to Panorama Ridge. It's like some people coming back. This set of wildflowers is just ridiculous. You've got so many different kinds of flower all here in one spot. It is such a scenic trail. Absurdly scenic, I think we've established. There are countless streams like this coming off and they are so picturesque. Ellie's taking another picture. We are, we've got picture after picture of just ridiculously gorgeous scenic views. Flowers, water, all different colors. Oh, you can actually just see a tiny bit of Garibaldi Lake to the left. Oh, really? You see the super blue? Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. This there. is our turn off here for the Where Black Tusk. Here? Right up here. Three kilometers. Three kilometers. Now we're on the more rough trail up to the top of Black Tusk. We're getting these little peekaboo views of the mountains in the back and Garibaldi Lake. Still a lot of alpine meadow and flower to go. We'll eventually get on to rock and scree and then sort of a fun section up near the top, which will be a bit more exciting. So you begin to encounter boulder fields and soon scree, which changes the complexion of the run a good bit. The scenery continues on this whole thing. It's just like a broken record. Oh my God, look at that, look at that, look at that. Such a quality route to do. Just enough difficulty to get to, to make it a little less crowded. Although today, middle of summer, beautiful day, weekend, it's going to be about as crowded as it gets. This is a uh, nice little shoulder with some... There's a bag here, just so you guys know. I don't know if I just wanted to get lost. A little bit of sledding in August going on, which is kind of nice to see. Although he does have a very wet butt. Yeah. Back, there's one flat mountain called Tabletop. And we're getting beyond the trees now. Indigo is attracting all of the bugs, so none of them are bothering any of us. <laughs> and we're entering this trail, which goes true to snow. Pretty cool section. So that looked pretty tempting as well. Go and scale up that thing after we do that one. Well, alrighty then. Alright. Oh, here's what have posted up. Told us to go on our way. Indigo is going to keep Magdalene company. This is the most challenging section. Just sliding rock the whole way. But there's a massive view just up over that edge, which we will see shortly. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> wow. How about that? That's so okay. Yeah. Beautiful, huh? Stunning. See, we're already above the yeah, shoulder. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking. You're like, you almost want to come the way back. I, I don't know what this is. It. Well, that looks a little, although maybe you could run down that and across. Yeah. So Ellie's just saying this is top notch in terms of additions to the traverse from Trekamus to Garibaldi parking lot or the Rubble Creek. Oh my word. Look at that. Good. Heavens, look at this chasm. Holy mackerel. So, oh my word, there's my photo right there. All right, Ellie. He 
is moving over into the picture spot we've discovered. I gotta get you right in between there. There we go. Right in. Gee, if you just look straight down there, it is just the chasm of doom, the Sarlacc pit, the depths of Mordor. Hello. But this is what we're now looking to get up from the other side. A little crumbly, but good enough. So we're getting to our little chimney area to get up. I think that's it right there. And we are pretty good elevation. We can now hear, see the house sound too towards Squamish. We're having a conversation here. Ellie is looking at this thinking, that is straight up, which it pretty much is. Is so, that the root? This is the root. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> we have opted to take a look at the one around the corner to see if it looks any more appealing to Ellie. Ah, mm. oh, this is another one. That looks quite doable too. Ellie's hoping for something even easier around the corner. You think they did? Whereabouts? Up here. Well, it's much longer, so it's more of a sustain. Yeah. You could do either way. I'm happy to do any of them. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that. A little heart right down there. Okay, we've established that Ellie's gonna go first and I will follow her as a confidence boost. All I would say is just check and make sure nothing is loose before you commit to it. Yeah, and also just, you know, you've got to come back down. Yep, the down won't be so bad. Good. Every time you get another six inches, you're doing great. So far, so good. Nice work. Dennis, are you coming? Uh, I don't know. Dennis, how you feeling? All right, well, Ellie is uh, making tracks. I'm going to follow you. <laughs> yep. Oh, you're doing good so far. Oh, you're doing great. Just nice and deliberately. You're doing great. <laughs> I would start up. Oh, hold on right there, Ellie. This is the perfect shot. That's a good one. Backwards, too. Nice work. Can you look back? Oh yeah. Dennis, look up for a second. If you can. There we go.
Yeah, this is an exciting part for many people. Lots of people turn around. But we are beyond the tough part. Yep, that's to help find this on the way back. There's so much loose rock here. You gotta be pretty careful what you pull on. Especially when there's people underneath you. Well, Ellie has worried her way up past the crux. Dennis is back there figuring it out. We are on this big crumbly mound. <laughs> You've reached the dual cairns of doom. Gotcha. Good work. Ellie's saying, okay, now that we're, we're not quite at the top, we're up there, we've done the hard part, we're waiting for, for Dennis right now. But she's other sort of saying, get, other than getting down. Okay, I'm up, I don't have to come back here ever or do it again. Kind of like up the West Line. But for this, it is absolutely worth it. There's definitely some exposure and it's sort of freaky because it's like you're just on a pile of railroad gravel and we still gotta just get up there. But the peak itself is nothing to write home about. Make sure it does do okay. You good? Up here. This is such a crazy destination just because of the form factor of this thing. This feature, the black tusk, you can see from a lot of places. And knowing that it's climbable is pretty cool. Just a giant pile of rocks. That cinder cone down there, which looks so big before, <laughs> is pretty insignificant now, looking at all this. What a place. What a location. Highly, highly recommend. That last bit, you need to be comfortable with exposure for sure though. Alrighty, getting close to the peak. All right, we came up here to spell you guys. Here's the replacements. What a day, huh? Ugh. I'm just looking. Yeah. It's just a little bit too exposed. You could down climb a little bit here. This is the greatest thing ever. A hand bra shot on top of Black Tusk. You guys look great. That's so yeah, funny. Well, on your anniversary tomorrow. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> He's only got how many YouTube followers have you got, Kerry? 10,000? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> What a great trip up the top of the mountain. Now we're heading down. It's one of these frustrating things where you gotta look down at the trail, but you really wanna look up at the view. I hope Indigo and Magdalene are still doing well. This is our sketchy down trail. It's not really like you can fall anywhere, but it's so loose and steep. If we look down, there's that beautiful heart-shaped... ...patch of snow. This is 
such a spectacular formation. There are all these little channels that you could go down, but they're tempting, but do not go that way. That's why these two are here, to tell you not to go in that direction. We are back in the Reaper's Alley here. Look at that, how helpful is a little bit of tape saying, yep, you're going the right way. I got someone coming up the other way, which is good because this is a passing zone ahead, it looks like. And there's definitely loose rock here and there to deal with. together trying to get up it's so loose just not a good feeling having somebody above you and this is working way out of the chimney one step at a time almost there thank you for waiting for us enjoy your trip up there so I was cleaning my glasses and they just evidently fell apart, god dang it. We've got uh, some band-aids, we can do <laughs> no, I, mean, I was going without, my sorry blue eyes are going to be squinting all day now. Yeah. I'll be there. So we made a decision. Ellie and I are going to run down here, across the snowfield, across the couloir, tag the top of that thing, and then come down there. The girls, we left them down there. I do see someone there, but they're moving. I don't think they're there anymore on the off chance that they're over there well then i'll, I'll see them yeah that's yeah. perfect and i'll bring them back down the sign post perfect we got all a plan right. all right we are letting them run downhill a little bit more on the scree this is kind of tricky but it's a fast descent you can keep your balance A lot of sliding. Exciting times. It's like a controlled avalanche, essentially. Kind of broken glass sliding downhill. That heart down there is so cool. It's like quicksand. That gravel in the heart is so muddy and quicksandy. A tiny bit unexpected to sink in as much as I did. What a place. It's gonna be a quick little diversion. Kick stepping in. A little steepish. And we're on the ridge. What a beautiful spot. You got the house sound. Oh my gosh. It's a different kind of shale, isn't it? We are it looks like about three little sub peaks, but there's a big cairn right over here. And somebody's 
someone's left something up here. So we're gonna tag these. Oh my God, it looks like people just stacked them, but I don't think it is. Look at this. It's a whole wind shelter, I think. Oh my word. That is a little camping cave of magic. And you've got an unimpeded shot. Good Lord, check this out. So, for perspective, we came from that valley over there and came, you can't quite see it, but there's a, a valley that comes along. We passed these, we came across this little thing. We went out here, we came back up here. We went up there to the top and we came back along here. Our exit, which you'll, you can see, is across this field and then down switchbacks all the way to a parking lot where we left the car. In fact, you can see the trail right down here, one of them. But we're gonna go hit the lake, go for a swim. Oh my, Ellie, you could, we could actually go down this. That's not too bad, but it puts us in the wrong spot. Yeah, we're too low then to get. Oh, I might run a couple and okay. just see what happens. Okay. Gonna be right with me. And then we're gonna go across that red snow. Did that, yeah. Yeah, I think so. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, I'll try. So let's see how we do. And off we go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Woo! And she's coming, getting the full cool off on the shorts. Off of the cool wire. Oh okay. Next section. I hope there's no blood on that snow. <laughs> it's off my butt. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, Kelly, oh no. <laughs> Ellie lost her pole. That was a solid glissade. I'm happy with that. Oh no, now I don't want to go. <laughs> you can butt it. Here she comes, committing to the bit. Lift up the heels for a second. Now dig them in. Look at that. Okay, let's just take a look at the backside. <laughs> that is a snowy, cold backside. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. All right, now we're not far, actually, just over there. But we avoided all of this. Back on the last little bit of snow run. I'm trying to just maintain altitude. Cut across to meet Dennis. I suspect the girls might have moved on, but we don't know. Oh, how nice. Look, they are here. Magdalene's here, anyway. Hey Dennis. Oh, that's pretty funny. Where's young child unit? The, the latrice. Well, how was it? That was great. Super fun. Yeah. How was it for you guys? Were you guys okay waiting? Yeah. Did you? You didn't go up to the little no, we saddle. Didn't. Yeah, we had lunch and then just chilled out. I think. A bit. Kiddo! Thank you for waiting, both of you. Yeah, no, I think. We're on the technical trail here. Indigo's delighted because it's this beautiful pathway in the middle of a meadow of flowers. Ellie is getting some coaching on how to deal with this section. Hey, there's a drop off right here. Just be careful. You see it? You can... Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Put the poles down first and then put your weight down. Okay, 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 back quick. Yeah. <laughs> that is the form of a world champion <laughs> ultra runner right there. That's what you do. You want to know how to win Western States in record time? That's how you do it, right there. Get your poles out and <laughs> slow it right down. So you can rewind that section. 
And if you want to know the ultra runner of the year, what she would do, that's what you'd do. <laughs> so this was our trail coming down the Helm Creek Trail. We went up the Black Tusk Trail to here. We went around and up and we went across to the cinder cone and back down. Actually, the cinder cone's right here, back down. Now we're going to head down to the lake, to the Battleship Islands, and then head back down to the car, which is about 10K. So off we go. So from the trail, we have a whole bunch of switchbacks down to the campsite and the actual lake. And it's a gorgeous trail. They have done a good job making it specifically not steep. So if you're into running, probably this whole thing is runnable. Definitely down, easy, not technical at all. And up is probably also runnable just because it really isn't a massive angle. If you look in this direction, you can see all the blue in the background. I don't know if it reads on the camera, but that's the lake we're coming down on top of. Wow. Oh my gosh. And, oh, there's a campground over there. We should we're gonna, camp here. <laughs> again. Oh my gosh. Reservations. We can do it. We could. Look at how picturesque this is. Super duper picturesque. Oh, geez. It's a nifty little route around the edges here. Definitely hitting more people now that we're near the campground. But this walkway. And the clarity of the water is unparalleled. That's your refrigerator up there where you hang up your food so the bears don't go and eat it. But there's definitely crowds here compared to where we've been. Hello. We're just trying to find a good swimming spot and then we'll probably Reverse on. Oh, those must be the islands. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Uh, I'm not sure the island looks that appealing right now. This was our spot, but I liked actually some of the deeper jump-ins yeah. along the way. Those look pretty good. That's a cute little island, though. I like it. Funny. Wow. <laughs> we have this little isthmus heading out. Wow. Oh, but look at the look at the sandy bar over here in the bottom. Wow. <laughs> oh, honestly, I forgot to take it off. <laughs> so we're getting ready to jump in. Ellie's in first. She'll be out first. All right. Dennis is going in. Oh, dude, you got to jump. Going in. All right. If you need to get out, Ellie, go for it. I'll, I'll, I don't have it pointed at you. I was going to say, okay, I mean, like, yeah. No, I got it pointed at me now. Are you guys going to swams? I think maybe. I think maybe? Yeah. It's going to be a quick one. Yeah, I know. I'm going to hang for a second just with my legs in to get my legs uh, done up. Wow. Give it a little bit of a treatment. Look how clear this water is. Going under. Okay, they just got in. Indigo is floating gracefully doing a synchronized swim move. Magdalene is just frozen still. 
None of them have ducked their heads yet. I will not duck my head. Dennis is still hanging out. <laughs> Ellie is drying off nicely. As am I. That's it? These guys have actual fake con candy here, which totally, which you made. Is this for a prop for a picture? Yeah, just oh, for yeah. a picture. Yeah. Indigo cotton anniversary. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. What is that? How many? It's your second marriage. Oh, congratulations. Second, sorry, your second wedding anniversary. Second marriage. Second wedding anniversary. So cute. Have a good one. You Thank you. Well. Thank you very much. Just enjoying the color of this water one more time before we head out. Everybody's refreshed from a dip. We're gonna head down. We got about 9K to get back down to the parking lot. Close to about 15 miles right now, so another six would be a little over 20. So maybe 20, 21 miles, something like that for the day. This is a nice section. There's a stream down there that's fed off of the Garibaldi Lake, which is fed by the Garibaldi mountain snows and glacier, and this route back down to the parking lot basically follows this slope which has been cut in by this creek. So, 9k down ish, and about another five miles to go before we hit the parking lot. Look. At what we are passing by. Another pretty amazing looking body of water. I don't even know what it is. Hello. Hello. Look at this nifty bridge. Ooh. Oh my word. Gorgeous. Hello. My guy's doing with ankle weights. That's the dude right there. Me. I actually really like this trail, which is different than the one I normally take. That body of water has fish jumping in it. And this is a pretty cool trail, almost like a tunnel of trees are coming through. Indigo is setting a ferocious pace, as she usually does at the end of the day. Yeah, Even though it's been a good day, I don't think she's frustrated or wants to get it back <laughs> particularly this time. It's been a she's great day. I'm just hungry. Already dinner's at the end. considering dinner options. Always. Which are probably three hours away. Maybe a little bit more. We'll see. Okay. Right. This is where the trails hook up. A bug jacket. A what jacket? It's a bug jacket. Oh, really? Yeah. Did they have a bug jacket? She did. She was wearing it. Yeah. Now, this is just a labyrinth of beautiful downhill switchbacks. For four more? Six more? Six ten. more. Yeah, four miles. <laughs> Getting close to the bottom, probably. I don't know, a few, couple K to go, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe two miles, maybe a little less, but just beautiful, prototypical BC wooded ferns, fir, cedar. It's just high quality trail action. We are in the most amazing set of big trees. These are old dug firs and various things and some of these trail markers are way up on the tree that's for winter when people are coming up and the snow is 10 feet of snow or something like that but this is i love seeing it when it hasn't been logged in the last 150 years as many places have around vancouver and british columbia but this is just beautiful it is uh, 6.08, so we started, what was it, 7.30ish? Yeah. So we're going to be done at 6.30, so 11 hour day, not so bad. Some good quality there, and we'll probably hit mileage wise. 33K. We're at 33K right now, or 33K is what we'll be. Right now. Okay, so that's 18, 20, like, well, just over 20 miles. So a solid day's effort 
without having to actually run at all, which is kind of nice. Looking down through the trees, I actually see the parking lot. So we're almost out at 619, 730 starts. Yeah, a little, a little under 11 hours. 10 hours and some change. We're gonna be back in Squamish, get some Mexican food for dinner, head back to Vancouver. This is about as good a day as one can have out here, I will say. Very, very pleased with how it all worked out. Super pleased with the crew. Everybody's capable. Everybody, good attitude and able to keep going for 11 hours straight. Now, here we are. Good job. All right, stop this. Good job. Go stop, yeah, we're not in the car for God's sake. Oh, you cheat yourself late. for mileage. Too late. Cheat yeah, yourself mileage. for mileage. Here comes Dirter. Good job. Come on, Magdalene. 11 hours, not 12, just 11. That's how it felt. Good job. Okay. That was fun. Let's get Mexican food. Super fun. Ellie pulling out the swag. Oh, Look yeah. at that oh, American yes. one. Those oh, are no, no, sorry. Yeah. Those are, these are the genuine Those are beautiful. Too. Drymax Ellie. Are they Light trail that's sock. That's so freaking cool. I think there's actually, do you yeah, have your name on it somewhere? Oh yeah, God. look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Can Congratulations. Oh. All right, we're in the car, about to fire up Bohemian Rhapsody, <laughs> and we will be picking up the other car. So, back to the car. Indigo's ready for some chocolate milk at the gas station. Ellie and I are talking about Haynes Valley tomorrow, but maybe not. She's got her bug jacket back, which she lent to Indigo very handily. And Dennis is going to make it back to his kids tonight before. Yep. And we'll go back and have some spaghetti Danielle has cooked. So that's about as successful a day as we can have, I think. Actually, that's good cool yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well done getting to the end of the Black Tusk and Garibaldi Lake adventure. So I wanted to say a couple quick words. First of all, appreciate you watching to the very end. If you would and are not already subscribed, if you would subscribe, that would be super helpful. A thumbs up is also helpful. There are a few ways you can support content creators like me. One of the ways is to simply subscribe to our social media, which in this case would be my Instagram, at Carrie Ward, my Strava account, which is also uh, in the description below. You should be able to link to it. And perhaps the most direct way is to offer support through Patreon, which is a way to support a content creator like me, where you put in a dollar, ten dollars, whatever you feel is, is appropriate, a month in, and that just sustains this content creation, which right now is more important than ever. Lastly, if you would, recommend this video to a friend or potentially to your group. That would be fantastic if you like this kind of stuff. And if you want to make suggestions on what to do in the future, I would love to hear them. So I'm here to give you the best content that I possibly can. Cheers, Carrie.